Hello, I am Aviva Lee, reporting from the room where time stands still for Jerusalem News Live. TV. Today is the 14th of December, 2008. Let's review just a moment. In the past 12 months, my journalistic efforts were primarily devoted to covering the military response of the sovereign state of Israel to the Arab terrorism emanating from the Gaza Strip and the West Bank. I also covered dozens of other exciting stories, including the first official state visit of President George W. Bush to this country. In the past 12 months, many, many people have seen my work and have also sent messages about my work. I thank you, one and all. None of those messages were taken more seriously than the emails sent by Arab terrorists and their sympathizers. With little exception, those comments were hate-based and stemmed from not a hatred of me in particular, but from a hatred of most everything non-Arab and most everything non-Muslim. And most assuredly that hate sprang from anything Jewish. For the record, especially to all of the Muslims who sent emails wishing that I would drop dead to be polite, or those emails making comments about my appearance thinking that I would be vain enough and hurt enough to sit down and be quiet, rest assured that I am not in this business seeking compliments, nor am I in this business to give way to any Muslim threat. I am in this business to seek and identify the spiritual elements, truth, and beauty, and to relay the different facets of those spiritual elements wherever I find those two, be they found in Jerusalem, in Israel, or elsewhere. In the past 12 months, I reported not only on the present Israeli government, which has abdicated its campaign rhetoric and promises, to put an end to our enemies lobbing missiles into this sovereign nation's borders, but I also reported on those crimes committed by my fellow Jews. Some were soldiers, some were civilians, some were bald-headed, and some have side curls. And this past year I personally paid an awful price professionally for publicly vocalizing my dissenting opinion about the American Jewish Congress follow-up campaign to the refusal of Ms. Magazine to run an AJC-submitted ad which bore the erroneous message, This is Israel, alongside photos of Judge Banish, Tzipi Livni, and Dalia Yitzik. I not only went to the streets to ask my fellow Jews what they thought about Arab terrorism, I also went to the streets and asked my fellow Jews what they thought about the death of little innocent Rose Pisum and her murderers. In my passionate search for and protection of truth and beauty, I also reported about the distinct prejudice in Israel against both truth and beauty, particularly as it relates to the intimate male-female relationship and what is secretly permitted by most rabbis, even those rabbis with beards who wear tzitzis and who feign pious religiosity, while saying in private that a woman is only a thing that can be cast aside if she does not have a ketubah. And those same rabbis, when asked to intervene and educate Jewish men about monogamy and commitment in an intimate relationship, not only reply, I do not mix into a man's personal affairs, but in some cases actually embrace and elevate such a man to the Bema and Aaron HaKodesh in the order of public Jewish worship. Jerusalem News Live will be dedicated also to the continued reports about the governance of the sovereign state of Israel based upon official communiques. It will also be dedicated to examining those aspects of Jewish life here in Jerusalem, where both hypocrisy and cowardice are beginning to be the rule of the day, beginning in those synagogues labeling themselves as orthodox.
It is also my hope to examine the decay of the very foundation of Jewish society, which is the Jewish family and the Jewish home, for the reasons of that decay. I will also examine the phenomena of infertility among Jewish couples and examine the Torah concept of infertility as a promised curse alongside the hypocritical response of the rabbinical community to that ancient edict. And finally, one last look back. Without a doubt, the most infamous press briefings I attended this year were both given by Mr. Elias Zananiri. In response to Mr. Zananiri's remarks in September of 2008, I have also developed another channel, and that channel will be dedicated to audience participation through the submission of photographs and audience narrations of the works of Flavius Josephus, documenting the presence of we Jews in this tiny strip of land since the time of King David and before. The URL for that new channel is www.livejerusalemnews.tv and I invite everyone to visit that URL and begin making submissions for that channel. All pertinent instructions for your submissions are posted there. The other URL which I will publish from this year exclusively is as previously announced www.jerusalemnewslive.tv and you are cordially invited to submit your comments, suggestions, and press releases to that channel. We will also seriously consider publishing worthwhile incoming submissions on that news channel. At this time I would like to thank all of my sponsors which made it possible for me to commence and finish last year's work who have decided to stand beside me for another year especially in these difficult times and dear listener as in the past you will still be able to see my segment on YouTube and dozens of other participating websites please make yourself known wherever you connect with my new channels and I am Aviva Lee, reporting exclusively for JerusalemNewsLive.tv. Thank you, and Shalom. May the Almighty help this present inhabited world.